So Lucy is coming to her first heat. And she's doing a whole lot of pacing around. She's having a hard time just relaxing. She wants to go out that door. And you've already been for your walk, Lucy. You already went for your walk down the driveway. Already played in the back 40. She don't understand what's going on. Huh, Lucy? You can't relax right now? Huh? Lucy. Lucy don't know what's going on right now. It's kind of raining out, so I had to bring her in. Kind of snowing and a rain mix, wintry mix. What do you want? Lucy, you want to go down the driveway? I think she wants to go out there and eat the cat food. Really? Yeah, the garage door was closed when I took her out earlier, so she couldn't get her usual little um, bite of cat food on the way out. I think she looks forward to that. Don't you, Luce? She's got her tongue hanging out. Oh, big yawn. I've never seen a dog yawn as much as she does. She wakes up and she's yawning for the first 10, 15 minutes when she wakes up. Lucy's 11 months now. She was 11 months on the 7th. Lucy's going to be a year old. February, February 7th. She's just antsy right now. You're antsy, aren't you? Because you don't know what's going on. She's about day four into her heat. All right, Lucy, I'll take you out. You want to go out? Hmm? You want to go out? She won't bark. She don't make no noise. She just stands and looks at me. Lucy, you want to go down the driveway? Hmm? Want to? Hmm? Hi, Lucy Gucci. Okay. I'll take you. I'll take you. Okay, so just like I thought, Lucy wants to come out here and clean up the cat food. Uh, it's what she likes to do. She looks forward to eating the cat food. Um, so uh, with this white dog, uh, the first indication of her heat, of course, was a very bad dye job under her tail. Um, I think I already said that this is day four of her heat cycle and honestly I just um, was hoping that she would not go through the holidays in heat because we had a uh, family come in from out of town and um, I just did not want to deal with it during that time and I'm grateful that she held off of course and I'm sure she didn't do it on purpose and now we're just going to deal with it. I didn't want to have her fixed until she got her first heat cycle. And we're out here in the country, so I don't have to worry about um, any male dogs coming around her. But then you never know. I did hear that male dogs can smell a female dog in heat a mile away. So we will find out. And I talked to the breeder today, and the breeder said that she is very fertile uh, from day 7 to 14. So I really, really got to watch her on those days because she doesn't have an enclosure for outdoors. She's just in a, she's just in a tie-out, so she's not secure, secluded, in a safe spot, actually. So I have to make sure that I keep an eye on her when she's outside. Normally we would be practicing our uh, uh, leash walking, but for purposes of uh, me needing one hand to videotape, I'm just gonna let her free a little bit to explore. She likes to come out here and smell around this bush. Uh, so I just wanted to get a little bit 
of the yard. We're out here in the country. I have never seen a dog in my backyard other than the neighbor's dog, and he was really, really old uh, a couple of summers ago. I'm not too worried about dogs coming around her, but I do have to make sure that I keep an eye on her because um, I don't want her to be, I don't want her to get pregnant with puppies. We don't need her to have, have puppies. That's not what I got her for. I did not get her for breeding purposes. Okay, I gotta take her back the other way. Come on, Liz, come on, Liz, come on, Liz. Come on, good girl. So this is the extent of our excitement when I walk her. <laughs> uh, because she just uh, gets very, very uh, excited when we come out for a walk. So I don't trust to take her into the park, which is right across the street. We have a park, it's right over there. Across the roadway, down a little ways really nice park right down there i don't trust her because uh, she hasn't been leash walking that long only since christmas has she done really really good jasmine you would be so proud of her just look at this girl walking i'm, I'm giving her a lot of rope here aren't you proud of lucy jasmine look at her go look at her go <laughs> good girl lucy good girl <laughs> let's get you a treat once she goes on the grass it's uh, all hands on deck. <laughs> when she gets on the grass, she just wants to follow her nose wherever it goes, which is anywhere because we have little critters in the area. So I can't let her out over there on the grass unless I got two hands to hold her, to hold her with. She's doing really good right now. It uh, makes bringing her out here a treat and not so much of a, of a job. Like right here in the grass. There she goes. She's following her nose. Ah! <laughs> oh gosh. Good job. Good job. Lucy's left handed. She prefers to walk on my left side. And that's how I know she's left handed. No matter how many times I put her on the right side, she wants to be on the left. I'm okay with that. I have a strong left arm and left hand to hold her with. Huh, Lucy? Good girl, good girl. She's getting some much needed exercise right now. She's doing really, really good. 